I think it was a good, uh, good cleanup from AC36. I think some progressive stuff there. Didn't fundamentally change the boats, which is good. I like the fact that some of the loopholes got closed, so that was a good step forward. This is probably one of the few campaigns where the rig cell aerodynamics is weighted as high as the hydro performance. And that is unusual in our world because, you know, historically the America's Cup is all about yacht design and therefore about yacht designers. Here you're in an environment where suddenly it's a very combined, equally weighted approach. So that's exciting. I find that quite interesting. It's sort of like a full circle. <laughs> I think what's important about the double skin concept is that it, for a boat like this it has some real advantages because it, it's not that it fundamentally is that much better than a single skin with a rotating mast, but it just makes it that much more efficient that the mast side gets reduced and these boats are very tippy in takeoff and the hydro doesn't take any riding moment. So for these boats it's just enough of a change that it makes the uh, mast short enough that that, that you can work them. So I think it's a nice solution for these boats. You may remember the Batwing cell coming up, um, you know, the, the scallop cell. And so a lot of the uh, resulting changes came from tightening up the rules. So the smaller um, uh, main cell is now smaller than it was before to take a little bit into account that the Batwing reduction in cell area was a good thing. Just taking in the changes teams have done and the boundaries they pushed forward, so they tidied a lot of that up. The initial concept with the Code Zero were kind of, was a bit of a, a safety valve in case the boats are very sticky in the light and so nobody ever seen a falling monohull at that point. So everybody was concerned about the weight and the drag the boats have at light air. As it turned out, the boats were probably more efficient than most people thought and the other factor in it is that the aerodynamic drag of the that big Code Zero is so prohibitive that it has a very, very small window where it would work. So, you know, the new rules have changed it. You can be sure that people will push the boundary and you will see some wacky stuff. The aerodynamic drag on these boats is a big deal, you know, so you're going to see a little bit of that Formula One focus where people start talking about drag a lot, which is similar to the 72 in San Francisco but probably a little bit of a surprise for a falling monohull in the last campaign.